for October, I'm shooting with the 1981 European Camera of the Year, the Minolta X700. I had heard about the 700 on a few podcasts, and I had seen a few YouTube video reviews on it, and I knew that this was a camera I was definitely wanting to try. So I had kept an eye out for it, and I stumbled up on this one at what I thought was a really good price. So I picked it up. Just looking at the camera, it's just got that 1980s look. It's plastic, and it's bulky, and uh, yeah, it's just definitely got a, a different look to it. The top of the camera is a little intimidating, especially with the motor drive on, but you get used to it really quickly. You've got shutter speeds from bulb up to one one thousandth of a second. You've also got a program mode and a aperture priority mode. The back of the camera is nothing real special. Uh, one thing I like is it's got one of those little windows to put the end of your film box. And, uh, and if you're absent-minded like me, that helps a lot. Uh, the look of the camera really grows on you pretty fast, I, and it feels good in your hands. It came with a 50mm lens, which is fantastic for me. That's one of my favorite focal lengths. There's some faster glass out there for it, but this one happens to be the F2 lens. Really excited to get out and see what it could do. But as a tradition, I had to get that bathroom selfie in. And after that, we just headed downtown to see what we could find. When I started shooting the camera, the first thing was it was just insanely easy to focus. Uh, without a doubt, this is the easiest focusing camera I've got. And I can't really put my thumb on why. Uh, I think just the, the focusing screen is just really, really good. It's a split screen with a uh, micro prism around it. The exposures uh, all seem to be dead on. And I even shot a few in aperture priority just to give it a shot and uh, I think it did great in it. This camera is without a doubt so far in the project my favorite camera and you know I know it isn't the cool camera it doesn't have the vintage look or anything like that but I'm all about results and without a doubt this camera gave me the best results that I've got so far and I'm really excited about it. Alright, hey, uh, leave some comments. Tell me what you think about the uh, shots and if you've got a 700, leave your opinions on it too. Uh, really want to thank everybody for all the new subscriptions and thanks to the old guys for hanging around and the project is buzzing right along it's almost November so thanks again and I'll see you next month